What is going on here? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome to the History Hunter, welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Today, I'm going to take you back in time to a absolutely amazing German World War II fortress position. This is absolutely one of the very best and I can tell you there are so many features here that you're going to be blown away like we were. There are trenches, there are gun positions, anti-aircraft gun positions, there are bunkers, munition storages, there are underground complexes, underground caves, underground tunnels, fire and control bunker, barrack area that I've never ever seen anything like in my whole life and I can tell you you will really be fascinated by this position and it's absolutely thanks to you that we can do this so thank you to all our Patreon PayPal supporters for giving us the opportunity to go out and do this other than that please give us a thumbs up give us a like hit that little notification bell and watch the videos in full that's the only way you can actually contribute and help us out to go out and reach more people but are you ready to go out and find something really spectacular. Well, let's go right now. So there we are, out in the terrain. I can't wait to share these fantastic positions here. And uh, it's this gentleman here, History Hunter, and, and Eagle Eyes. <laughs> and Eagle Eyes, he's attacking me. <laughs> well, as I said, this is an amazing, a amazing German World War II and um, Atlantic Wall fortification position. And I can't wait to share what's here. And we're going to see if we can find each and every little cranny of details here. So are you ready? Let's go. This is a guard position guarding the perimeter of the entrance area. There's one on each side of a gate, right hand side guard position. And they could easily have had a machine gun or something like that right there. That is beautiful. That is a barrack foundation which has almost been casted onto the mountainside. But I want you to see the details of the craftsmanship here. This was not just slapped together. Wow, look at that, how much effort they put into that. Holy cow, it's like a work of art. And it's on the corners. It's everywhere, very, very often it's very rough, but someone took the time to actually clean up all of this. Holy cow, that's a bag foundation. To make it level, they had to go all the way down here on this, and it's level further up there. Holy cow, that is cool. Yeah, they built a defensive wall, and there's a huge pile of rocks that was probably used to make some kind of in the terrain near the fence position over there but you can also see that there used to be something here it's been backfilled during the years the the the, the farmers and all of that would shove some sticks and stuff inside and then it kind of just disappears but you can see here most definitely there were structures here and the barrack foundation is up there there's another foundation there and it just goes on and on and i just spotted something really cool over there that is crazy that used to be a manhole a little near the fence position look now the tree has taken completely over and it's filling up the whole fighting position there holy cow there is something here that is so surreal that you just have to see it but first uh where is it yeah okay can you see all of this i mean all of this i'm not talking about five meters or 50 meters there must be kilometers of barbed wire fence systems laying in this ravine here. You can see here? I'm gonna go over here, you can see it better. This is absolutely sick. I've never seen anything like it. See here? That is barbed wire. That is barbed wire. And this is just on the outer perimeter. And they had three barbed wire perimeter perimeters. Look at this. It's a mayhem. They are thousands upon thousands of meters of the German combat barbed wire. Can you see that here? 
everywhere. Oh my lord. I've never seen so much barbed wire in my whole life. See what I'm walking on top of here? All of this is just barbed wire. There's a metal box there. This is crazy. And it goes on and on and on up into the forest there. And there's a huge pile there. There's the fighting position. I can actually see the original barbed wire fence system up there. Holy cow, it's still there. Did anyone mention barbed wire? Holy cow. And from up here, you can see the ravine going up there. Everything here is German combat barbed wire. And I guess there was so much of it that they didn't manage to actually get it away. I'm going to show you something really, really cool over here. What you're going to see now is freaking spectacular. And this is so, so freaking rare. That is the original first barbed wire perimeter. The metal fence poles with the characteristic cutouts like this, it is still there. Holy cow. That is such a rare thing to see, to be honest. And it's still almost, you can straighten that up. Like that. And boom. There's your German World War II barbed wire fence system. Probably the outer perimeter, which was a deterrent for the locals and the civilians. And then the real heavy duty stuff will be down there for whatever was of intervention from the allies. And that will be much more dense. So this is just to say to the locals, no further. And then if you cross that, mines and all kinds of crap. Holy, that is amazing. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you? In this manner and fashion here, by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description, you can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with For Your Eyes Only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. I don't know what to say. That was such an incredible experience. And oh my, yeah, look at that. I almost fell in that. Oh, I've never seen so much barbed wire in my life. And I make sure I'll get a few snips and I'll create those beautiful World War II dioramas for you. And I'll pass them on to you, my faithful supporters, team members on Patreon. I will definitely make sure that some of you will end up with a very special little detail from the past. Wow, I don't know what to say. This is amazing. There's a little structure here. I'm not sure what that is all about. But this is basically barbed wire alley. I'm gonna name it that, Barbed Wire Alley. And boy, oh boy, that's a very cool place. All right, we're gonna continue, continue up the hill and we're gonna see if we can find more of the puzzle here. Right there is another little position. Can you see it? It's completely covered in the woods. And I'm thinking that could be a flak anti-aircraft gun position just above the uh, Bob Wire Valley. Huge something here. Um, I'm not sure, is that a well? Water reservoir. It's kind of like a lid on top. I would guess a water reservoir. Wow, look at that. They integrated the bunker here with a heavy duty roof. Looks like a very heavy duty thing. So I got my flashlight. This is a very good working tool, the Olight H2R. And he has the uh, Olight Seeker 2 Pro. Very good tools. So what are they doing in here? Oh, it's a heavy duty Regelbau. Oh, you can move the door. You can actually move the door, cool. Okay, 
Let's have a look. What on earth yeah. happened here? Explosion? What is that? <laughs> That's like a foam something. What the hell? Wow, it is so clean inside. Exactly. Look at that. Every bed. Yes, uh, from a mattress, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, it is colorful. This is beautiful, in such good condition. That could be communication equipment. And this is like a room. Let me go around, you can see it. Come on this side. Boom. And you see the steel beams on top. A little bit of rust, but uh, nevertheless, it looks very, very nice. Wow, that's a very, very nice little discovery. Glad we could share that with you. Come on, let's find more. One more of the barrack foundations. And here you can see clearly what I meant about the detail work. They will slap the concrete on, but they'll never flatten it and make it so smooth and nice like that. Wow. Let's check out that barrack foundation from the top there. And there's another one up there. Imagine Hans and the helmet. This is a staircase. You cannot see it. You can walk. He, he, Hans and Helmut came walking on top here. They were drunk. They've had a little day off and uh, the sergeant gave them a bottle of something nice that was confiscated in France and then brought here. And the couple of us sit here and talk about their homeland. They walked inside. They took a little piece of bread in the evening and then they passed out and boom. <laughs> This is the place where it all happened. This is the place the Hans and Helmut felt alive. They felt like a home away from home. Today, the only thing we can see is the foundation here of the barrack itself. This is another one up there. But this was their place away from home and it's like absolutely everywhere and it saddens me sometimes and then it makes me happy to know that they were guys all the way taken away from their homes their families their loved ones their children and they had to go out and serve their country so they were just normal people guys like you and me and uh, it doesn't matter for me if you are like allied or russian or german or french or english or italian i don't care Soldiers are soldiers, and we have to respect that. And I'm quite confident that we can say that these guys here, well, they had it much better than on the Eastern Front being slaughtered every day. So at least that's a little comfort. These are everywhere. I mean, everywhere. See that? Huge steel uh, attachment points. And they were for the communication poles and the power supply poles. The pole is gone, but these were rammed down into the mountainside and the huge tree that was cut was put there, supported by this. And then you had your communication line running through the terrain. We can hear a woodpecker hammering. Sometimes when you go around, you can actually find pieces of the activity just up there on the surface. And that is a piece of metal that most likely could have come from the barrack from Hanson Helmut. Who knows? We are following a path up now towards where some of the more interesting structures are. And this path was built by uh, prisoners of war. So at this location they had four huge guns and uh, anti-aircraft gun, all of that as I said. They had a regular staff you could say of prisoners of war around 40-50 and there was a couple of hundred guys there. And suddenly there are structures left, right, everywhere. Well, let's see what that is all about. There is something there and a huge something there. So that's going to be pretty interesting. But I just want to show you this. This was once upon a time a machine gun position. This is the exact spot where the machine gun was attached. And then they could go up and down. There would be munition pocket there, munition pocket there and they could transport themselves very rapidly up and down the mountainside through that uh, trench system.
that most likely looked like ammunition storage. I think we might have found the first gun placement here. As I said, huge, huge guns were here. And uh, I'm guessing we are actually venturing into one of them. Wow, there's a bunker there. Do we think we can get into it? But there's something behind us, so let's check out that first. Right there, there used to be a 10.5 centimeter gun. Just imagine that with that picture here. And they would launch a shell out like 12,000 meters out. And uh, there are so many features just around this little, this little uh, position here. But I'm gonna show you the best thing of it all. That's the view that is here. Look at that little nest of uh, lookout point and uh, protective measures on the top there. But let me show you something really cool. Is that a treat or what? Holy Madonna. I can understand so much why they put up this position here. Because they wanted to protect whatever came in from there. But look at the view a German soldier in the World War II time frame would have. Wow, 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 that is why we do this. Go out, we research, we explore and we find and we share with all of you. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, also, please remember, give us a thumbs up, a little comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell in your appreciation of all the things we do. <laughs> this could be ammunition storage. Even a crew shelter it was attacked from the seafront. Sea oh, there's a tunnel. I think there's a tunnel inside. But what is that then? Oh, there's just a small room. I think there's something going on down here. We have to go in here. Really? Yeah. There's a staircase into something. Oh, wow. And the original staircase is completely gone. But what is going on in here? Okay, give me a second. I'll go down here. I want to check it out if, if it continues or if it just kind of stops here. It continues? Oh, it continues. Okay, we have to change battery here. Yeah, give me a second. So this is how it is if you don't have a good flashlight. And if you have good ones, well, one, two, three. Boom. Look at that. One of the original shutter doors oh. for whatever they had in there. There are spider eggs. No, get away from it. <laughs> get away from it. Wow, get that is so it. cool. I've never seen such a complete one before. Okay, this. Look at the roof here. So curved. Just enough room for a guy with a helmet to run through here. Holy cow, this is beautiful. And this place has got so many f features and we can't wait to share more with you. Wow. Look at that. There's another one of the shutters. Can you open that one? Let's open it and check it out. Oh, that is a very special feature. Never ever seen them intact. And it's kind of completely shuttered. Yeah, you, you can kind of figure it out up there. I'm going to let them see the tunnel again. Wow, this is fantastic. Wow, okay, we, we realized that it's not going to be sufficient with just one episode. So we're going to give you a second one, maybe a third one as well, because there are too many things here. And we just found something spectacular that you have to see. I will put a link in the video description for part two. And it's going to be released pretty soon. And uh, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, sorry if we don't put it in one video. It'll be absolutely too long. But nevertheless, this has been so far absolutely fantastic. And uh, as you saw coming out from that thing, the Atlantic Wall is so versatile and so diverse. It is absolutely mind-blowing. All right, um, thank you for being with us. Thank you, all our team members, to make that come true. Also, to all of you donating on PayPal, we really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, if you subscribe, hit the notification bell. We 
dearly love that as well. Comment, comment, comment. So, from this gentleman here and, and then eagle, eagle eyes. eyes, we want to say stay safe, have a good one, and bye-bye.